Hey SolidWorks community, thanks for sprinting back to the final part of our three-part series where we are modeling the mask of Barry Allen, aka The Flash. We have half of the mask's main shape and eyebrow detail modeled. Now let's model in the iconic lightning bolt details into the mask. Let's first create the etched lightning bolt into the top of the mask. We'll do this using the swept cut tool, so let's first create a sweep rail. Sketch on the front plane, and using a series of arcs and straight lines, match the shape on the reference image we imported in part one. Now exit the sketch and navigate to Curves, Project Curve. With the Sketch on Faces option selected, ensure the sketch we just created is selected, then click the front surfaces to project the sketch onto. Now sketching on the right plane, let's continue this rail with a spline all the way around the mask. Just ensure this spline is set tangent to the existing projected sketch. Exit the sketch, and again, let's project this sketch onto the outer surfaces of the mask. Now to finalize the sweep rail, enter the 3D sketching environment, select the Convert Entities tool, and convert these newly created curves to a single 3D sketch. Exit the sketch and enter the Swept Cut tool. Rather than having to sketch a profile, we can use the Circular Profile option. Select our 3D sketch as the rail, then adjust the radius of the circular profile to be 0.04 inches, and click OK. We'll follow a very similar process for the ring portion of the lightning bolt emblem around the ear, except we'll use the Swept Boss tool instead of the Swept Cut tool. So sketching on the right plane, I'll use the Three Point Circles tool to sketch the ID of the ring, using the imported image as a guide. Let's convert this circle to a construction line, then use the Offset Entities tool to offset the ID sketch into the approximate center of the ring. In this case, I'm offsetting it 0.1 inches. Exit the sketch and use the Project Curve tool to project this circle onto the outer surface of the mask. Now enter the 3D sketch environment and use the Convert Entities tool to convert this projected circle to a 3D sketch. This is our sweep rail. Now enter the Swept Boss tool found in the Features tab of the Command Manager. Select the Circular Profile option, select our sweep path, and then adjust the profile diameter to be 0.2 inches. As you can see, this sweep protrudes into the inside of the mask, so let's use the Delete Face tool to delete the unwanted faces. Try using the Delete and Patch option, but if that gives you an error, let's just delete the face, then enter the Filled Surface tool, and select all of the open edges to fill. Once all of the edges have been selected, make sure the edge settings for all edges are set to Tangent, and turn on the Merge Entities option and select OK. Now for the faceted lightning bolt on the side of the mask. Let's sketch on the right plane and just draw the outline of the lightning bolt using a series of arcs and straight lines. Exit the sketch and create an extruded boss 0.04 inches thick, and I'm offsetting this extrusion to just barely interact with the ring detail we just created. Now we can use some surface tools to create the faceted look to this lightning bolt. The peaks of the facets will be about 0.25 inches away from the top surface of this extrusion, 
So let's create a reference plane 0.25 inches from the top surface. Now sketching on this plane, sketch several construction lines connecting these corners of the lightning bolt and drop a point in the center of each line. Exit the sketch and using a 3D sketch for each individual line, I'll draw straight 3D lines connecting the corners of the extrusion to the center points we just created. Once all the lines are sketched, let's use the Delete Face tool to delete this top face of the lightning bolt. Then enter the Filled Surface tool. And select the various edges that create an enclosed surface. You have to use a separate surface tool for each individual surface. For each one, make sure the Merge Result option is selected. And for the final filled surface, also make sure the Create Solid option is selected. And there we have our faceted lightning bolt. Now to form it to the mask a bit more, let's navigate to Insert, Features, Flex. This is a very unique tool that we can use to bend the lightning bolt to conform to the mask a little better. In the Flex Properties Manager, first select the lightning bolt solid. Then, with the bending option selected, let's bend it 40 degrees. And we can adjust the position of the triad, which this tool is bending around. Play with this triad position until you're happy with how the lightning bolt interacts with the ring on the side of the mask. If needed, you can also fine-tune the orientation of the lightning bolt a bit using the Move Copy Bodies tool. In this case, I'm rotating the lightning bolt slightly around the Y and X axis to perfect its position. And once you're happy with its position, use the Combine tool to add the lightning bolt to the mask body. Now, before mirroring this body, let's apply some materials and colors to the mask. I'll first apply an MT textured plastic material to the whole model, then navigate to the Appearance section of the Display Manager tab. Double click on the material we just applied and change the color to a dark red. Now let's add a yellow soft touch plastic material to the ring feature as well as all of the lightning bolt faces. I'll then change the color to be a little bit more of a warm yellow. And now we're ready to mirror the mask. Navigate to the Mirror tool found in the Features tab of the Command Manager. We'll mirror this across the right plane, then select the body to mirror. Try to keep the Merge Solids option on, but in my case I had to turn off Merge Solids. Then enter the Combine tool to merge the two halves together. And there we have the completed flash mask. I hope you've walked away from this series with some new surfacing tools in your tool belt. And after modeling this, if I were you, I'd be sprinting to the nearest 3D printer to print out a cosplay mask or display model of this iconic design. Thanks for watching, SolidWorks users.